Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid. I'm so sick of this game. It's, it's shitty and terrible and you're a faggot. Stop playing it. I thought we agreed that Mint was the faggot. Oh yeah, well, you're, you're both faggots. Mint, you're there, right? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. So... And I'm, I'm, fi I'm fighting sleep to be with you guys, so you should be thankful. We oh, are. Like, like in your recent LPs. So, um... Sleep defying. We're back here in Ridley's lair because I got to pick up a couple of missile packs. The first is hidden up here. It's probably the best hidden missile pack in the game. Come on. What, what do you mean by best? It's hidden slightly better than all the other ones. Oh. Is it? Is it like the good luck missile? No, because when you know where it is, it's easy to get. And here's some oh. B corridors. We didn't get to see oh, the B it. corridors when I came through here the first time, but they're a distinctive feature of this area that give children nightmares. Because if you come through here without the screw attack, you'll probably lose all your life. This is my nightmare. So, yeah. So here's our missile pack um, bordering an otherwise empty room with a pitfall right there. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, so, this is all incredibly useless because missiles in this game are fairly fucking useless. But what else is um, new in the Metroid series? Are, are um, missiles well, required to beat Mother Brain? Yeah, but you get 75 from beating each boss. So, uh, yeah. I, I actually played Zero Mission. I played through it the other day. It's It's not bad. Zero Mission's uh, pretty damn good, except for the ending part. That whole area is complete ass. Yeah. It's too short. Wait. What do you mean? Like, you mean the part with the, uh, where you have to go through the ship all stealthy-like? Yeah. Metal Gear Samus, yes. That, that part was awesome. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. I you think... guys just don't know what's no. good. That's think... why you're playing Metroid. I think Moogie's the I'm not playing on Metroid. This I'm not the one playing Metroid. Kevin's the one playing Metroid. You can insult his taste in games all you like. So it, you realize that if you insult Metroid, that you're insulting my childhood. Well, I, I'm glad I'm insulting your childhood. I, I hate your childhood. What did my childhood ever do to you? Existed. It brought us Justin Bailey. No, don't come through the door with me. No. Okay. Um, can I remember which block I have to jump at? I hope so. Can enemies no. actually, like, hop through yeah. doors? Um, yeah, but they disappear as soon as the next room loads up. Enemies are set, um, to load up with a given room. Yeah. So, they don't exist once you leave a room and go into another. Oh, it's, it's kind of terrible. I, I feel sorry for the enemies. I know, it's They're really trapped sad. In these, they're <laughs> trapped in these rooms forever. This is, like, way deeper than Final Fantasy VII, man. Way. Oh, by the way, Kevin, did you uh, did you look at um, Orn? I saw the the screenshots for it. Oh yeah, it's it really good. Pretty shitty. I, I don't it see how shitty. it can be that great. I mean, it's just Metroid with better graphics. Like your your guy, like it actually it runs pretty. It look it just looks pretty good. The problem is your character is way too fucking big. So like. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's problematic. But if it was a full game, I would I would probably pay like twenty bucks for it. So are you I guys wouldn't. ready to have some fun? No. Cool. So um, I'm ready to we're gonna fall. not have fun. Oh, um, you fell. Oh boy, falling yeah. down shafts. Nothing like a giant oh, pitfall to make your yeah. day. Samus. Sam is going down those shafts, oh boy. Yeah, she's coming down my chimney tonight. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. So I, I watched um Santa Claus yeah. Conquers the Martians over over the weekend. Yeah. And Why? Yeah. Why why? Because I bought it for four bucks and the movie was actually surprisingly decent. How is it surprisingly decent? Or does it not, like, not make you want to kill yourself? Because it doesn't take itself seriously. 
I don't know. A friend and it's about got that. Movie. It's about Martians coming and kidnapping Santa Claus to make their children happier. Uh, I do that all the time. S speaking of which, I, I found a movie that's apparently a comedy based on the Columbine massacres. <laughs> yeah, it, it's oh? called um, it, it's called Duck, the Carbine High Massacre. It was uh, the first Columbine film to actually be released in 2000. Oh really? Is yeah, this like um? What about that uh Columbine RPG? Wasn't that Columbine R humorous? No. Uh, the Columbine RPG was weird. Like the first half is like an actual recreation of the events, and then you go into hell and uh, fight Satan and shit. And Speaking of weird things, these blocks, these blocks right here, don't yeah. appear anywhere else in the game except for this room, which you would never have any reason to go in. Oh. The only reason that you gotta. Basically, yeah. right now I'm in the outer loop of Ridley's hideout, and you never have to come here for any reason. The only reason to come here is to get missiles. Well, that's a reason. I mean, you might you might have a missile fetish. I mean, like, what do you think Samus does with the missiles when she's not shooting them? Wait, so do you have a missile fetish, Moogie? Because if you did, this area would be perfect for you. I mean, there's bees and there's missiles. No, I only have a bee, bee insertion fetish. Can you accomplish that with bees and missiles? You know, like bomb arrows in, um, in Link's Awakening. You've got bee missiles in Metroid. Bee missiles. Bee yeah, bee, bee insertion missiles sounds uh, pretty hot. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look up some hentai of that. It's, it's gonna be very hot. Well, speaking Ooh, so of down. uh. Speaking of hot and sexy things, somebody did request yeah. that you read the, uh, the fan fiction during the. Oh LA. yeah. Yeah, but that person's stupid. Oh. I, oh, I think I'm going to read to it. Hot. Let's do it. I, I'm, interested. I'm doing it. Okay, so uh, anime slash games archive games. Um. I really need to go and put that fanfic I made up over on fanfiction.net. What fan is your fan? Dot Oh, wait, did what I not tell you about fit? that? No. Um, it's a fanfic uh, based on the, uh, the, like, the OMG INBD girl from uh, the T-Mobile commercials. Yeah. Oh, yeah? IDK, my BFF Jill. Yeah, it's yes. like, it's a yeah. fanfic about her. So That's, that's, that's frankly disgusting. I hate to interrupt Oh, your, no, it's pretty your... awesome. Like, basically, uh, after a long, drawn-out... No, I'm, I'm talking. You I shut up. Uh, I don't well, care. I have an important cares. question to ask. To... I, I, I care. Well, wait. Let Kevin ask his question. So, since you seem to be a connoisseur of erotic fan fiction, I'm wondering, have you ever found any Columbine erotic fan fiction? <laughs> oh my god. I got, I'm going to write some. <laughs> I want to be the um, game part three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Craig walks into Columbine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, and uh, on the Metroid uh, a section, there's a request for a fic involving Dragon from uh, Super Metroid. <laughs> uh, well, maybe you can kill two birds with one stone then, and... Um, have it be a Columbine Metroid crossover. Oh. Okay, uh, chapter title, The Metroid Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, so so that I can finish without sounding creepy, because I wrote fanfiction about the T-Mobile girl. Um, basically, it's, ba it's just basically a long, drawn-out series of uh, paragraphs involving her getting home from school, and then her mom goes upstairs, and she's like, you know... What's up with this? You know, have you seen the bill? What's up with all these texting charges? And she goes, OMG, IDDQD. And then she shoots a cacodemon in the face with a super shotgun. Yeah. Um, Eric Harris and Dylan Cla Claybold <laughs> entered the room where Creed slept. Erotically. <laughs> <laughs> 
so right now I'm up in the corner. Ganta fellates his mini penises. <laughs> And um, for some reason, they stuck like six missile packs up in the corner of Norfair, all within like two rooms of each other. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Suddenly he Boy, awoke sure and assumed their identity. Hey, look, okay. isn't this great Set lava? Yeah, and there's Set even up. this hole Set right here. Ah, uh, okay, Metroid sen pallets uh, at their finest. Suddenly he awoke and assumed their identity after fucking them to death with the help of Ridley and his massive cock. Oh, you can be a little more creative than that. Then Kray did Columbine in 9-11. <laughs> um, what should I add? Oh, I'm not gonna add anything. I'll just add another <laughs> chapter. So right now, we, we did all that work earlier to get the wave beam, and we've used it to kill Ridley, and it took too long. So um, now we have to get rid of it to get the ice beam, because we're going to need it for Toriad anyway. Really? Yeah. Fascinating. But the greatest thing about this ice beam is to get it coming from the front. So um, from the direction, from the opposite direction of when we came, you need the ice beam. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so you do can you need, freeze that thing. Do you need Kraid's mini penises? Um, no, I don't think so, because, you know, Kraid doesn't really give you anything in this game. Aside from an energy tank uh, you can get in his room. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, so, so stay, say funny things in my absence. Okay. So, Mint, uh, apparently you're sleep deprived. Uh, kinda. You should uh, work on like, that. I, I don't know why. I have just absolutely no energy today, and I just want to go to sleep. But I love you guys, so yeah. I'm doing this. Also, I think Moogie is off masturbating to his own ideas. Probably. But you know what would be a great way to solve your sleep deprivation problems? Uh, by sleeping? By playing Aaron stage in uh, Mega Mari and recording it for Aiden us. stage is easy. I don't know what the big deal is. You say that, but you're the <laughs> one who died on Chilno stage. A lot. Well, I was sleep deprived if you were paying attention to the video. And if you've been paying Kraid attention to- Kraid was sleep to... deprived when they fucked him. Oh, really? So, Mint, yeah. if you've been paying attention to this video, you're sleep deprived now. Yeah, but I'm not playing your shitty games. So. But this is why I want you to play Megamari. I, oh, I that play, reminds me. I I, uh, in that uh, LP challenge thread, there was a the challenge yeah. like beat Spark Mandrel without his weakness, and I was like, okay. And so I went in, and I was, like, dear, I was like, dear God, this is so easy because I've been playing Mega Mari. What the fuck is that? Mega Man X is like the easiest game ever to fucking Buster Duel. Like Mega Man yeah. Seven is probably harder to Buster Duel than Mega Man X. I don't know, um, the final boss Well, do it without the challenge. dash boots. That's the fun part, I think. Yeah, that's, I'm gonna do that, it. That's pretty difficult, yeah. Can you even Still, beat the Mega game Man without the dash boots? I never tried it. Yeah, you can. Uh, Mega Man X is probably by far the easiest Mega Man game, I, I would say. No, Mega Man X2 is way easier. It is? Uh, I'm, I'm not really that familiar with X2 and X3. Ma maybe not the Buster Duel. Because I've never really tried that, but it's definitely the easiest game if you do it the... the Can you actually beat X2 Buster Dueling? Because I remember, like, needing the wire thing. Yeah, you can, but the final form of, of Sigma takes forever. Uh, yeah, Yay, I only own... Uh, yeah, I only own X1 and uh, 4 through 6, so I, I've never really played uh, 2 and 3 except on emulators. You know, there was this um, one time I was at my friend's house, and he owns Mega Man X. And yeah. so I start playing it one day because I'm bored. And yeah. I beat the game just when his little brother gets home. Yeah. And he walks in, and he sees me get to the game, and he throws a fit because he's had the game for years and years and has never been able to beat it, and I just beat it in like an hour. You made a little kid cry. I did. It was I'm, awesome. I'm proud of you. 
Although if you knew his I don't brothers, think you have any you'd friends. be happy. Enjoy your game. Okay, I definitely didn't understand what either of you just said. And I don't think you ever will. Oh. Oh, well, that's too bad. So do you have max missiles now? No, there's still a bunch more. I think I still need what? five more. So you can get 255 in this game? Yeah. Is. Oh, that's, that's cool, I guess. So I guess we that's, like... so, that's so very programming cop-out. Well, if you want to see programming yeah. cop-outs, just wait until we do the, the Hidden World videos. When are we going to do those? After we beat the actual game? Yeah. There's like, not actually too much I to them. Yeah. Item collection is so fucking, fucking amazing. I'm going to write, I'm going to write a dragon fic for this guy. <laughs> well, item collection will get a bit more interesting once we get back to Kraid's hideout, because there's some mean tricks in that place that really don't make any sense. Item collection, more like erotic collection. Oh baby. Oh, I should write an a missile pack X Samus fanfic. I think you should write a missile pack X energy tank fanfic. Oh Ooh. fuck yes. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Throw in a power I'm bombs that can't get any because everyone hates them because they're useless. Okay, what? I love power bombs. Once again, so like crystal flash. Okay, yeah. um uh, have you ever used um, the crystal flash in a normal game of Super Metroid? Have you ever wanted to see Samus naked? Not particularly, <laughs> but I guess you do. <laughs> okay, well, um, see, what you're missing out wait. on the crystal flash. Okay guys, what should what should the title of my missile pack X energy tank fanfic be? Drawing a blank mm. here. Um, I I know that the word on, ballistic should let, be used. Let my, let my creative juices flow. I shall I shall right. bring you a title. Just give in, me a second. Incorporate the word right. ballistic. Ballistic bliss. <laughs> that might work. Go for it. Bal ballistic bliss a la mode. Ooh yay! Enemies we don't see anywhere else in Norfair. Oh, those, okay. those guys are cool. I'll think of your description. Course, Hold on. This entire tile okay. set is seen nowhere else in Norfair, so that shouldn't be too surprising. Oh god, I got nothing. I wish I was. Okay, I, I wish I. Go ahead. I'll do. Um, a summary. Hmm. <laughs> oh god. Okay, uh, so one night. A missile pack is feeling particularly energetic. <laughs> wouldn't he, um. And, y wouldn't and he you said that my. And my Pokemon joke was bad. My Pokemon <laughs> joke was bad. Well, we are somehow supposed to accept that. Yeah, I don't even remember <laughs> your Pokemon joke. Every time you've told me, oh my god, my Pokemon yeah. joke was so bad, please kill me. I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, it was. But secretly, I've been thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't even remember that. It, it's it's uh, the remember, trainer uh, joke. Yeah, Ridley, the fitness trainer. I said, diet, I choose you. That was a joke. And, appar and apparently <laughs> Cedric didn't like it. Well, if Cedric doesn't yeah. like it, we had better go back and edit that out of the video. He's Easy. a faggot. Just replace it, replace it with the Miku Kraid music I made. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to use that when we were traveling back towards uh, Kraid's hideout, and I think I'm still going to. So don't say anything All right, important. good.